The thing I remember most about Eric when I first met him was just he was, he was small for a Big Ten school, I thought. And uh, he had the greatest smile. He had the greatest personality. He's just one of the guys. We had a great group of people there. And, and Eric would kind of be the center of everything. You know, he was, he was, just, a, he was just a great, great athlete and a great person. Oh, he had exceptional runs. I remember the Purdue game when he broke the record. And uh, the greatest thing I loved about it is that he just was like a gazelle running around the field and nobody could catch him. And, and it was just a wonderful thing to see, but it was one of the greatest games to see a running back uh, go. And Eric, if Eric can get around you, he's gone. So you have to be able to cut him off first right there, right in front of you. If you don't get him in front of you, you can't get to the side as quick as he is. So he's gone. And at the same time, when he gets out there, he had the ability to cut back. So for the guys that are out there waiting for him there, he cut back and he was, he was gone. I think it's a tremendous honor for Eric to go into the Hall of Fame at the same time. For me personally, to have the privilege to be able to play with an athlete that great and also a great person. It's one thing about Spartans that uh, stands out most to me and, and it's that spirit of a Spartan and I think that Eric reflects that tremendously. He was just a great person, a great athlete and uh, performed so well on the field. He represented the Spartans tremendously to see him run around people and through people and between people uh, was a great thing and, and the one thing about Eric too, he never gave up. I mean he never stopped. He was going 110 miles an hour all the time so he would give his all, and I think that he represented the spirit of a Spartan tremendously. Good afternoon, everyone. And just watching that film brought back memories from my house, our, our high school days. My name is Nathaniel Allen. I'm Eric's oldest brother. Uh, but before I get into any details, I'd just like to say something about who was our, let's say, life support, our leader that made us a better person in life. And I'm talking about my high school coach, uh, Tommy Smith. Although there were two others, Mr. Knox and Mr. McGinnis, uh, Coach Smith was one of the hardest working individuals in our lives. And I speak both for Bobby and I. We both benefited from it. Uh, in the light of everything, uh, Coach Smith gave us a dream. A dream to be a better person in life. A better, a better, a better way of respecting your elders. And be uh, fruitful in your community. Also be a role model, a model so others can follow. Uh, we established that. And as you can see, Bobby was that phenomenon. I couldn't hold up to him at the time, but I could do a little things to him. And, you know, of course, I'm no old child. But anyways, yes. Coach put everything behind him. He produced. And most importantly, he was just that type of individual that never give up attitude. And when you saw him, when he got into a game and a guy missed the block, you can tell he was angry. And he'll come and look at you. And then give you a little, get your block, man. Don't worry about it, I'll get past it. So, you know, as I'm watching him right now, maybe I might break down and cry. But I don't care. I'm in his home. His home is just like mine. Now, to talk about my coach again, let's get back to him. He was one of those individuals that told us if we did well, he would go to the length to get our scholarships, in which he did do. And both Eric and I were a beneficial, a beneficial, a benef a recipients of it. I went to school in Texas, Bobby came to Michigan State, which is a great school. And the great thing about that, Coach Smith, coach Smith got a chance to meet one of his favorite idols, who was Duffy Doherty. And for Bobby to go come to a program in which he was coaching, that was a great feat for him. Also, I was happy myself, because I didn't want him in Texas. <laughs> he was going to spoil my day. 
And I was a defensive player, and I had to hurt him if, if it came to that. No, I wouldn't do that. But anyways, from there, yes. Bobby came to Michigan State, and I can see how people adored him, cherished him, loved him, treated him like family. So, Bobby, and I, the next question I wanted to say, what did this university do for Bobby? Gave him a great education, and also a wonderful life in professional ball. And I asked myself, Today, did Bobby achieve his goals? Yes, he did. Did Bobby try to accomplish things that he thought that was impossible to reach? Yes, he did. And the biggest thing of all, now he's gone. But the sad part about, not the biggest thing, but the sad part about he's gone. He's gone from me. And the fact is I can't bring him back. And if I could, just to share another 67 years with him, I would. So, yes, this school has been a great institution for my brother. And I can see the love that you guys have shared with him. And, you know, just, you know, just champion around him. I may, be, I may be using the wrong words, but bear with me. Afterward, Having that good education, he was able to go in the outside world and take on challenges. And he won those challenges simply because he was very prepared in life from this institution. So I look at all you young faces right now. Of course, you look at me. I'm old and gray. But you've got a good life ahead of you, and you are at a very good institution. Use it, and use it well. Respect people, and people will love you. Do the proper things that can make you successful, as of what I'm saying, because it carried over with my brother. Now, I'm not going to make this a long story like everybody may think I would. I'm not a five-minute speaker. But I want to say one thing. To the individuals that, would, that had a hand in my brother's life, showing him how to be a role model, showing him how to be a gentleman, and a man that's successful in life. I want to say thanks to these individuals. The president and the dean, the faculty members, and student body, which is you guys, also friends and associates. And most importantly, the HOF committees. I thank you for the induction of my brother. And furthermore, I share with my brother in wisdom what he would say in mine. Hold on. I'm coming. In mine. Now, the only thing, <laughs> thank you for bearing with me. But the main thing I want to get to is to say, from my brother's thoughts to my lips, I want to thank everybody for this honor that I've mentioned. And in one, one day, I'll get to see all of you and remember you by memory. With that, I'll end this conversation. Thank you very much. Very <laughs>